Although, I don't mind it too much, actually. Let's over explain again, I don't mind. Some people come here and say they want to start with Warcraft 3 at a late and mature age. And how's about getting into uh, into Warcraft at this time? Now, Warcraft 3 Battle.net has a 250 millisecond inbuilt delay. The reasoning is, I think, to even out the, the lag battlefield for people back in the day when everyone was uh, on a potato modem. By now it's still like that and also it's rife with map hackers. So playing on Bnet is not too fun of an experience, but it's probably going to be easier games anyway because they have matchmaking. W3 Arena, you pretty much run into people who are pretty die hard about Warcraft 3. I still recommend it if you are halfway decent at RTS, but you're going to have a pretty rough first few games. Now, you always start with your Altar of Storms. Almost always, with any race, or their equivalent of it, to start your one hero. You can go single, double or triple hero strategies, all of it is pretty okay. Keep in mind that if you are on advanced tech, great hold going to stronghold, you get bonus XP for everything you kill if you're still on a single hero. So there are some benefits staying on a single hero. <clears throat> However, you cannot creep past level 5, and the max level is 10. You get your heroic, your ultimate at 6. So you can only get to 5. So there's definitely some merit to getting a second hero. This is the usual thing you see. Some races like Night Elf against Orc or Undead in general are very prone to making 3 heroes in general. And although you will not level up as high, you have the benefit of many different abilities. Now I'm against an Undead. Gonna go with the Blade Master, one of the best first heroes for Orc. Yeah, he's an agility hero, which means he has high armor, medium HP, uh, high damage, quick attack speed. So he, he is what you would call a melee assassin in uh, mobile terms. Uh, I like the opener on Secret Valley to buy a double circlet. Uh, don't make a second grunt actually. Or maybe single circlet is better. I cannot really afford it yet. I'll decide if I buy another one later. Can we get this one. Yeah, I'll buy another one. Not hurt. Circlets pad your stats, giving you bonus armor, damage, HP, intelligence, mana, and so on. Ah, uh, Scroll of the Beast is really good, I'm gonna keep it. Uh, I did not watch tournaments. Uh, you can heal at the healing fountain if you stay at the corners. Of course, it does take time to heal, like this. Now we're gonna creep. Now uh, what we expect the undead is doing is this one first, then this, then this. So that is what we are in our heads countering. We are thinking of picking up a uh, of speed after we finish this, while using Grunt to ascertain his position. We're setting a Grunt kind of to the middle, trying not to walk into any... Uh, Mercs that can do and snare. We'll also check the natural, and at that moment, we'll have ruled out most of the positions that he could potentially be at. So, if he's not here, he's already done this. He could be here, but more likely, he's doing like the fountain or my side. Or uh, my, yeah, my expansion or, or bottom line. Okay, he did this one. So, he is level 2.5. 1.9, 2.1, 2.4. And if he wants to do another smally, he is a safe player. And yet, we have good damage, and we may even use Scroll of the Beast. Although that's early, if you save it too long against Undead, you will not get good value out of it. This is crazy! Scroll of the Beast! 
He has no coils anymore. Yes, sir. I am yours. What you want? What task is there? Yes. Huh? Lol. Oh. One more fiend and I'm out. I am yours. Wait, he has coil soon. Yes, sir. What you want? What Scroll of the beast, so much value. Huh? Now uh, maybe we can get a level 3 from this, in which case the fun would go on. I like that quick scroll. Now uh, the cool thing is, dust runs out oh. before Windwalk does, uh -huh. so yes, we can yes. we can delve into the depths of obey. greed. Yes. Are you hero and not obey. nice. Yes. Or or no, not nice. Oh. So what I'm doing is quick tier three. This will give me lightning orc. An expensive purchase, which is why we will not make Warmail fast. Warmail Shadow to tier 3 and Beastry is too much. Cannot afford it. Sorry for my uh, sinus problems. We are now going to scout with Blade Master while uh, leveling up our Shadow Hunter to level 2. Our Blade Master has already reached a level that we are happy with. We'll do this one first. We're under a now we're going to check this, and then basically top left, there's nothing else. Oh no, no, no. There's the goblin shops. Yeah, we'll check the goblin shops. We only get the level 1 creep, but that's enough for level 2. Did he finish it? Yes, he did. Now we'll just check the progress of his tech, check his items. Of course, I stole the cheese off of the bread there. He has uh, triple ziggurat. He has no slaughterhouse yet. He suffered huge losses and he tried to recoup them to the point where he's basically techless. So all he's getting is what? Lich? Lich, Cryptfiend, Orb of Corruption. That's it. So we are now dreaming of a world without undead in this map, this game. Very irritating for him. This kind of thing. We need info and dust. Oh. We give the circlet to Shadow, who can use it to have bonus mana. The gloves to the Blade Master, who can use it to buff his uh, Lightning Orb attack speed. Then we're gonna hex DK if we can. We can't. It's alright. Now we're gonna start thinking about taking the other Goblin Shop, since we know we're the extreme upper dog. You might wonder, why don't you finish it? Well, attacking an undead base is fraught with risk. They have a lot of slow, they have quadruple regeneration. Or, I should say, value 4 of regen. Quadruple my regen anytime. I have, let's say, value 1 regen. They have 4 on Blight. Night Elf has 0, and 2 at night. And it has zero off creep, four on creep. Blight, I should say. So we get this, we uh, get the Torrent Chief done, maybe. No, we don't. We're gonna go get grip. Get tiny Great Hall. We'll make one bonus beyond. Now we gotta check where he's at. Use my We are enemies behind it. Ready to work. Oh. Yes. He's still taken to tier 3. Yes. Work, work. I can do that. We'll use a photo lunch to pull the creeps. Yes, Actually, we need to kill the troll first. Then pick up the item. Be charming. 
Oh, really? Hey, he took my item too? Whoa. That's where it went. What is this? Come on, bro. Anyway, our expansion is finished. He went double boneyard. Okay, that is uh, that's, that's extreme. This guy's got plans. X will secure the crit fan kill. We'll get the Tarn Chieftain, a War Mill, and then a Peon. We're gonna secure the Healing Fountain, which will give us free healing. And he needs about two minutes to get his Boneyard. That is way too long. And we're gonna get... This is way too long for him to survive this game, I should say. Nice. We're gonna get Bat Riders for that. Another burrow. Well, well, well. What can I do? I could sell boots, I guess. Why do I need boots anymore? Given it to our chief Use my power. Yes, I am Okay, no invo. What a waste of time. Can't just go no invo. What do you expect me to focus? It's certainly not your beautiful crossroads. I even get scroll of the beast side. Always check someone's items fast. Master? Too bad he's not getting XP for any of this. Oh, I could just hex worms. So he did a double frostworm timing, and for that he spent sacrificial pit, double boneyard, and had no statues forever. So we beat him with a 50 foot army, even though we were gunning for a 70 foot army. Because I didn't think that there's much sense going double boneyard to make two frostworms, when you could just make one boneyard to make two, and also do some other stuff, save the money. I thought if he goes double boneyard, he's getting ready for a four frostworm army. Which, by the way, is still not that good. If you go Frostworms without uh, destroyers and the orc uses his brain, which I wasn't, I was just right clicking his hero, which granted is pretty satisfying. But if the orc uses his brain, and especially when Shadowhunter is level 4, he will just hex worm after worm after worm, and it takes 30 seconds. So he will have flying sheep, and I will have an actual army. <sighs> yeah. Well, still a good game to explain stuff with. Yeah, if you go for a destroyer worm, then it is good. If I hex, he will eat it, he gets magic damage, uh, he will remove the hex, and so on. Nice self deny. If we can actually steal all wizards, not only do we get this item, we will also not be level 2! Uh, although I used all my mana, the value of not having him be level 2 is that his brilliant aura acquisition is delayed. 